Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss the operation of a steam power plant. Very simple uh, description of a steam power plant is what I am intending to give in this video. Detailed discussion of operation and uh, calculations of steam power plant will follow in the subsequent videos. Fundamentally, what is a steam power plant? A steam power plant is an industrial setup that generates electricity using the power of steam. So, you need steam you need something to generate electricity such as a turbine and a generator setup for this task uh, to be completed or accomplish this task so you need high pressure steam uh, and a turbine and a generator now how do you generate high pressure steam you know you can generate steam by boiling water above 100 degrees celsius no above 100 degrees celsius that's not a technically correct statement because above 100 degrees celsius water will be steam so you cannot heat water above 100 degrees uh, steam can be heated above 100 degrees. Now, um, let's not go to that details um, in this video um, yet. So, you need water, heat it above 100 degree to convert it to steam and heat it further to generate a high pressure, high temperature steam and then in the turbine cool it um, or use the power of the steam to rotate the turbine and uh, then generate uh, electricity. So that is uh, what usually happens in uh, a, a steam power plant. You can use any fuel to heat uh, water. You, there are coal powered five, uh, power plants, there are nuclear power plants, there are, there are many uh, types of uh, power plants. Even wood was once used as a, a, a medium uh, or a fuel to heat water. So basically what happens is you, um, let's start at one point here. So you have a water here let's see let's look at the function of the condenser later on but you supply water in through this and you have a pump that water is pumped in here uh, and you have you supplied fuel here so you you heat the water up and uh, and, and by heating the water you create a, a, a high pressure steam and uh, the high pressure steam is supplied into the turbine now once the high pressure steam reaches the turbine the uh, turbine, turbine blades will be rotated using the pressure of the steam and that rotation is used to generate power in the, in the, the generator. So, once the power of the steam is used to, to rotate the turbine, the high pressure steam will, be, will lose its pressure and it will become a low pressure steam which is transferred into the condenser where the steam is uh, uh, subjected to the phase change by losing some heat and then it will become water uh, at uh, saturated water or just under, under boiling temperature and it is pumped back into the system to generate uh, the steam again. Now, how do you heat it up? You provide uh, air. Obviously, you need air for uh, the combustion process. So, the air is supplied in and uh, as you can see uh, there will be a heat exchanger operating here so once the air passes through this the air gets hot where this heat coming from this is the gas going out from the uh, furnace uh, the gas going out will still have some temperature in it so that temperature is used to heat the air that is coming in and uh, as, uh, uh, as the air uh, pass through the heat generator or uh, heat transfer uh, mechanism uh, that will become a hot air and the hot air is um, supplied to the system along with the fuel and uh, that enables the combustion. So, uh, uh, using the, uh, the heat of the outgoing gas, you heat the uh, incoming air that is um, th that will eventually enable uh, to improve the, uh, the efficiency. So, uh, fuel and hot air comes in here to, to uh, heat the, um, the water and the water as it he gets heated uh, becomes uh, a steam and you heat it further and then it will become a high pressure steam. So the high pressure steam is then transferred as I said before transferred into the turbine. A turbine will have blades or a turbine will have leaves uh, which will be subjected to the pressure of the steam um, and then you rotate the, uh, the turbine blades. Uh, the, the rotation of the turbine blades uh, is uh, connected to the generator and uh, you can generate electricity 
in, in, in the generator. So as I, as I said, as I explained before, the, once uh, the, high, uh, the pressure of the steam is utilized to rotate the turbine blades, the steam will become low pressure or it will lose its pressure or its, 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 its power to rotate the turbine and uh, it will become a low pressure steam which is then passed to the condenser. So the high pressure steam, you can have it at any temperature as you, as you may wish. Uh, depending on the temperature of the steam, you can generate more power. Sometimes you can uh, you can operate a couple of turbines from the same steam if it's not yet at the saturated water temperature. Uh, it, it really depends on the temperature of the steam. Uh, if you heat steam above 100 degree, that will just the heat, you can just add heat uh, to to the um, critical point. So you, you keep adding heat and you pressure uh, you generate a very high pressure steam at a high temperature and then use it to rotate the turbine. Then after after con converting the, the uh, energy of the steam into the turbine or passing that energy into the turbine, it will become a low pressure steam, which is then cooled down in the condenser. Now, the condenser obviously cools the, uh, the, uh, the low pressure steam and uh, then pumps it back to the system. Uh, the, the, there'll be cooling water supplied into the condenser and uh, once the steam uh, has lost its uh, phase and it is converted to water, it may still be at the saturation uh, saturated temperature, but um, uh, once it um, lose its uh, phase and it uh, converts con being it's being converted to water that is pumped back into the system and or into the furnace where it it is um, further subjected to heating and uh, generate the steam. So that is how. Uh, a simple steam power plant operate. Uh, we will look into the uh, detailed operation and calculations of a steam power plant in the uh, uh, upcoming videos. Once again, thank you for watching and if you have any comments, please feel free to comment in the comment, comment box in YouTube. Thank you very much.